Hi guys, welcome to the mix. It's weekly roundup time, and uh, to answer the the I guess the the main question, where have I been? What's going on? Uh, well, I I am still here. We are still here. The mix is still going. You'll notice we've uh, changed situations. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, what the hell? Um, I, I've completely lost track of where we're up to with these. It was at least two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. I mean, it, it, it feels like a lifetime ago, but it was probably two weeks ago uh, just before they, they did the more strict lockdown here in the UK that I did that last video. So I think we had the schools and then we had the gyms and everything. Suddenly, uh, we lost on the Friday. I think I did the video just after that. So I, I had the shop open on the Saturday just after that. Uh, and then on Monday, sure enough, uh, the the uh, lockdown got loads stricter. So that's, that's kind of puts us where we are now. There's obviously some debate going on about when they can lift it. Obviously not yet. I think it is about to be prolonged. Uh, and I have a horrible feeling gyms will be even farther down the line there uh, from that. But whatever, we're, we're, we're still here. And for my part, uh, we can remain open. Not so much the shop. I, I, there is a Technically speaking, uh, health food stores are allowed to be open. They, they do just make it into the government's rather loose definition of essential. Uh, but uh, we took the move. I took the, uh, the, the, the um, decision uh, after that Saturday, basically as soon as we heard that, to shut the shop there and then. Uh, there was no need to certainly risk the operations here. But I mean, in terms of my team uh, and in terms of doing what we do and keeping everyone safe and indeed keeping customers themselves safe, uh, it, it just felt like the right move to shut the shop. So the shop, the shop, uh, the shop here in Tunbridge Wells has been shut uh, for the last two weeks and we've been doing stuff online. So uh, many of you uh, who watch this buy from us regularly, uh, hopefully you've still got your orders more or less on time. Uh, so we are still fulfilling, we're doing everything uh, as normal at the moment. Um, we are on a sort of skeleton type team, so we've been hard pressed and we've also been insanely busy. So this is, is what brings us back to uh, why I've not been here, you know, touch wood, um, I've not been ill, uh, my family's not been ill, my friends haven't been ill, we've been um, largely unaffected in, in kind of any deep emotional personal state with this, like no one we know has got seriously ill on the back of it, only sort of people we know by extension, but I mean, yes, yeah, same goes for the guys here, we've been um, pretty much okay, Tunbridge Wells is kind of close to London, it's off southeast Kent, there's quite a lot uh, of the virus around, and obviously as testing is being picked up, um, we're aware of more virus being around, but fortunately there's not a lot of strange traffic that comes through the shop, we are always largely online, and um, yeah, I, I guess we, we just dodged a bullet for our part, uh, both in terms of actually getting this horrible thing, uh, but being able to keep doing what we're doing. So the government's obviously trying to keep what it can going, because the economy is going to take a massive hit from this, and I think we're all going to be feeling it for years to come, uh, but yeah, we are incredibly fortunate to be still working here in the mix and, and obviously just aside from boxes coming in, deliveries coming in, uh, uh, orders going out, uh, minimal contact outside of this and obviously we're trying to observe the distances and all the rest of it. So you guys know the new reality. It's um, it's it's really bizarre. I mean, you know, supermarkets from my own sort of anecdotal point of view, um, going to get ice cream. I live on ice cream. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, okay, there hasn't been too much panic buying on ice cream, so I'm largely okay. Uh, and in terms of protein bars, uh, well, we're, we're kind of set for life. Uh, but um, yeah, there, there's so many new things to get used to. And doing the one way thing around supermarkets, obviously queuing to get in them, that's really weird. Um, so, I, I, you know, it's only started kicking in more here in our supermarkets and the screens going up and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I, I mean, just about this whole situation, it's obviously horrible horrible the weather's fantastic it's amazing it's an easter weekend i'm doing this on the good friday so we've come in most of the team uh, i let go earlier but we had to come in to try and keep up with orders and just you know catch up because it's it's kind of carnage in here um but i'm, I'm trying to give everyone a bit of a break because we, we have been right up against it um and I'd like to kind of uh, keep a sense of normalcy. So the same for myself. I mean, obviously, it's just with my my um, kind of close nuclear family at home. Uh, but we've been, we, you know, we, we're trying to keep up the whole Easter tradition uh, traditions as much as we can. And uh, yeah, it, it's just it's it's weird. I mean, I know everyone wants to go outside, sunbathe, run, go to the seaside, all these great things. That we've got this uh, absolutely. Um, uncannily nice weather for this time of year it seems unbelievably cruel like it's horrible twist of fate that we're not supposed to go outside at the same time and it's it's you know it's no wonder people are having a bit of trouble with that but it, I, I mean there's no you want protein bars for me that's that's why i'm here so i'm going to take you a few uh, through a few of the big hitters we've still managed to get in and have some fun with uh, but obviously yeah as a, as a general message 
yes for the UK, but I kind of around the world, the more you stay in now and flatten that curve and all the stuff they're going on about and stop people going to hospital and relieve pressure on the NHS and etc., uh, the quicker we can all get back to normal. So yeah, where possible, stay at home, kids. <laughs> anyway, um, the uh, protein stuff. So uh, big long spiel into it. I, I felt I had to say something. I've been, I wanted to do a video last week for sure and it didn't happen. Uh, and I thought I'll do some stories during the week. I'm not, because I talk so much, the, the stories, the 15 second bursts don't tend to do me any favors on Instagram. Uh, so I've skipped it thus far, but I, I did want to show my face here just to say, yes, we are still very much going. Um, and yeah, it, it has been a really busy time. Uh, because uh, this is again me not getting onto the snacks and I'll say if you want I'll put the time code down so you can jump forward to see what I'm going to go through the sexy new battle snacks here uh, there's a choc hazelnut misfits uh, vegan bar this is a triple layer caramel filled uh, Nutella styly one that's pretty novel that's pretty cool and the big uh, new Noco flavor Limon del Sol which is extremely uh, fitting given the lovely weather we're seeing right here and given that we can't go outside it's actually nice to have a taste of summer in a can so it's another summer special from them like the the Miami and the Caribbean so incredibly popular and has been so so popular weirdly popular but yeah to to jump back to I guess uh, what we've seen on the back of this in terms of online stuff the volume has gone up immensely so yes we've lost the shop we've lost some sales we've lost some business there but in terms of the online it has more than made up for it but it makes sense, I suppose, because people can't go out or people are, are you know, uh, observing the kind of instructions, the guidelines and not going out uh, even to shops they perhaps could do. So it's leading to more and more focus going into the online stuff. So I, I think even Amazon were reeling and that's that's amazing. The fact that Amazon was struggling to do this and they're the kings of, of online e-commerce retail. But yeah, there was a knock on with them for a bit. Um, but uh, I guess people not going out, coming to buy this stuff, I, I suppose it still raised the question whether or not the stuff we sell, which is definitely not essential, it's kind of, uh, you know, fun stuff, um, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, um, it's treats, it's okay, guilt-free treats and that, but it, it's nothing we do is, is that vital. So it, it created this weird thing in the supplement industry where a lot of companies were trying to keep their own lines going. Uh, and they thought, quick, get everyone immuno-boosting supplements, greens. I've even seen some companies selling baked beans and stuff online. I mean, uh, you know, you can take it too far. And I think um, there's a little bit of profiteering here and there uh, is only natural when it comes to these things. And I, certainly I saw it myself with uh, gym equipment. So... Uh, no gyms and uh, you know I'm, I'm going backwards and forwards from the office to home that's about it uh, and I wanted to get I hadn't had any equipment for years and so there's a big hunt for um, you know barbells dumbbells they're still pretty much nowhere to be found I was very lucky I managed to get a bench but I, the bench I got I saw was 50% marked up from where it was about two weeks ago. So, I mean, a lot of people saw, um, you know, demand drove it up here and obviously the less supplies. I mean, it's only kind of natural the way it works. People can't give this stuff away. And obviously when you've got, you know, less to go around, I suppose it's only natural to put the price up to try and control that demand a little bit. A bit bad, but there you go. Um, so yeah, the UK still got a big drought on uh, gym equipment. Um, the one thing I did manage to get, um, which is, I mean, there's some glute bands here. Basically, better bodies, they make gym wear. I managed to get hold of some of their accessory type bits and they did resistance bands. So yeah, I got as many as I could do, wasn't that many. And I didn't even know they'd sell because we obviously don't do stuff like that in the mix traditionally. And it all went. So, you know, we, we put the best price we could on it. I didn't want to try and look like we were making money on this. And um, yeah, sure enough, it went out. And I had people saying, oh, thanks. I've managed to get it from you guys, et cetera, et cetera. So all the main fitnessy sort of superstore outlets that should be doing this were cleared out straight away. It was nice that we could do a little bit. I also got some pull-up bars. So again, I wanted one, got it in there, got it up on site. Um, and yeah, the, again, we didn't have many. We had like nine of them, uh, but they all went as well. So that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, if you couldn't get it at Argos, that was one. But yeah, these bands, I mean, you know, um, uh, blue, um, glute bands, booty bands, whatever you call them, uh, we did, we do still have some of these. Again, they've been quite popular. I think we'll probably keep them on even after this. It's the sort of thing that might be quite useful for folks. And I've always loved Better Bodies gear. It's always good quality, a little bit pricey, uh, but yeah, it, it's now we've got them up in the mix. We'll keep them that way. And we do have resistance bands in theory due in a week or two. So uh, God knows how long this goes on, but we will have those back in as well. Um, 
Oh, anyway, so I'm still waffling, guys. Uh, yeah, you really are going to have to jump forward if you're still watching it at this point. Um, but yeah, I, the, the debate was uh, vitamins, minerals, etc. We don't do much of that. And I've seen countless companies and indeed the wholesalers and distributors jumping up with immuno boosting things saying quick sell this brand, sell this brand. So we don't like pill type things in general here. So it wasn't a lot of that that we we're going to take in. So I debated it and I thought, nah, for my part, um, I'm, I'm, I have been into my greens for a bit. I don't tend to eat proper meals, so I figure it makes up in terms of my micros and stuff. And um, yes, the, the, the few bits we've had have done quite well in the mix. We do have another one I'll show you at the end, uh, but it, I, I go on flavor for these. They have to taste okay, otherwise I'm just not gonna drink it. And these ones are flavored, not too bad. So yeah, we didn't go too far down the vitamin and mineral route, uh, which it was obviously kind of like the, the sensible thing for the supplement industry, they all thought. Uh, but it, I guess all the fun stuff, the, the silly bars, the peanut butters, peanut butters have done so well, nuts and more being smashed. We've had to rush that back in. Um, all the Pratella stuff like the donuts we had before, they've all gone. Uh, syrups have done very, very well. So I, I guess the, yeah, the, the takeaway from this is that when you can't have the, um, the necessities, when you're struggling to get milk, bread, uh, you know, cheese, um, hand sanitizer, uh, you want the um, little luxuries. And I guess the, the high protein ones are, are great for trying to hang on to your gains while you can't get in the gym quite so much and the rest. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very fortunate we've been as busy as we have been. I'm so glad people are still going for the snacks and stuff. So I like to think we're providing not an essential service, but I mean, an important one. And we're, we're keeping a degree of normalcy up there and getting orders out on time. We haven't failed one delivery. We haven't failed to get one order out the door as promised day to day. Uh, our couriers showing a few cracks, uh, but um, not too bad in general. DPD uh, leading the pack pretty good. UK Mail, DHL, one or two issues, but broadly speaking on time. Royal Mail is always a sort of law unto themselves on first class. Track looks all right, but the first class slow down. But you, you probably know this. I mean, couriers all over the place are, are being slow and retailers are being very slow to get things out. But for our part, we've kept up with that service level. And, um, you know, I, 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 I really uh, endeavor to do that, even if it kills me. I mean, you know, I will stay overnight and pack things if I need to, to get everything out as promised because I hate to, 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 dis ah, I hate to, uh, to disappoint. Oh, can't speak. Yeah, much fatigue. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, enjoy, as I do this, uh, Noco Limon del Sol's new flavor. I'll bring this in so you can get back to my usual standard fare. I dread to think how long I've been wittering on. 11 minutes of what's been going on in the mix. So this really is one for... Um, yeah, loyal viewers and regulars to actually see what we've been doing. But yeah, suffice it to say, people are still into this. We're incredibly busy at the moment. I think that's the, um, yeah, online in general has been driving that. And the fact that I think people are going for this stuff because it's probably preserving, you know, it's getting the protein in, the recovery in and everything. Interestingly enough, and I'm still not shutting up, um, on supplements, I figured only protein powders would go. I mean, if you can't get all the good food you're used to getting, you can't get as much chicken breast or tuna or whatever, or whatever you might get more shakes and try and make up the protein, hit the uh, your um, daily protein that way. Uh, well, yeah, a lot of protein has gone, but then again, we always sell a lot of protein. It's, it's why protein's in the name above the door. But pre-workouts, I mean, yeah, perhaps BCAAs are up a bit, but we're still selling loads of pre-workouts. And indeed, energy drinks, I'm not sure we've ever sold more energy drinks. And you think, well, hang on a sec, if people are stuck in their living rooms, why are they buying pre-workouts having so many energy drinks? Even if they're doing at-home workouts, for my part, I haven't really touched a pre-workout in two weeks or so, because the concept of, you know, beta alanine while well, I'm trying to do press-ups in my bedroom uh, seems, um, yeah, I just don't see it working. But hey, you guys are still buying it and um, we'll keep them coming. But I really, I'm trying to strategize this, I didn't think pre-workouts would be a popular pick over these last couple of weeks, but yeah, they really have been. Um, anyway, uh, Limon del Sol, we'll salt there because I need a drink. Mm. It is delicious. It's light Sprite. Um, so a big fan of Sprite, and it's a very popular one. Obviously, everyone likes Sprite. Um, it's a kind of classic lemon, citrusy flavor. Um, it's uh, not mad sweet. It's not as sweet as, say, the Miami, the, the strawberry flavor they do. It's rained back in from that. But, you know, citrus, lemon in these sort of things always go very, very well. Uh, there's probably just the, the hint of sharpness provided by the reasonably high 180 milligram caffeine count you get in these. But obviously, you also get um, some BCAAs and you also get, I think they're enriched with vitamins and stuff as well. So, a load of cool stuff, fueling recovery and the rest that you get in NOCO. NOCO standing for the No Carbs Company. 
And um, yeah, it just looks amazing. So it, it, I know there was some debate about whether or not they even wanted to go ahead with this launch. I certainly uh, pushed for that. I said, we'd love to do it. And that's why uh, we got a load quite early and we're making a big song and dance, but it's been so unbelievably well received. We actually went out of stock back to back days, just trying to get enough in at the moment because the supply is a bit behind, delivery is a bit behind, etc. And um, yeah, it, it, it's flown out. They're now in 12 pack uh, trays. It always used to be 24, if you're familiar with that. Uh, they are moving the whole thing to 12 uh, can trays, more like, I don't know, Monster or stuff that you get in Booker or the supermarket. Uh, it makes a lot more sense this way, and it's a lot more enticing to buy sort of, a, you know, a, a nice tray at a good price, rather than doing the 24. The 24 is an unusual amount of cans to buy. Most usual consumers wouldn't do that. Yeah, there are a load of flavours to mix across 24, but I think at 12, um, and it's around about 20 quid for a tray of 12 at that, and of course you can mix and match it with us, the prices still work out the same. Um, but yeah, these, these ones at the moment come in neatly wrapped uh, packs of 12. And um, yeah, that's probably factored into it. But I think this was just the right product at the right time. It's very crisp, very refreshing. It's yeah, it's not an unusual flavor. It, it does, you know, reminiscent of 7-Up and Sprite and any drink like that. Uh, but it, it, it's quite a good classic one for the Noco line. And um, it's obviously fueling people as they do workouts in their garden and the rest. And uh, I've no doubt it will continue to do quite well as well. So there you go. Limon del Sol is in the mix. Um, it was very well received post. And as I say, it has been by... 100% um, up the, the most popular Noco launch we've ever had. So I, I don't have to, it, I, I, it's sort of, I always try and, and think things through and, and, you know, use psychology to see why certain products do better than, than other ones. Obviously these look great, uh, so it does help, but I, I just did not see energy drinks and these being as popular as they have been, but yeah, it's fantastic they are. Should say, while I'm on this, and I'll do a little bit at the end, um, about stuff to look forward to, because we all need stuff to look forward to. Um, the uh, sister company of these guys, as many of you may know, is uh, Bear Bells, the makers of the um, fantastic, probably the breakthrough, I mean, Grenade, uh, they're the, the big name in doing it, but Bear Bells were probably the first um, very similar specs, like in terms of macro um, points, uh, bars to come through that saw so much success. Uh, I mean, in the mix, it was probably, they, they were our best-selling range through probably 20... Oh, 2018. I mean, they picked. I mean, that was grenade came down a bit, and Bear Bells did fantastically well. For Phil, have been dipping up and down. I'm actually doing quite well at the moment. But yeah, Bear Bells. It's this. It's still sort of 200 calories, two or three grams of sugar, triple layer. It's got caramel, soft fondant core, the chocolate coating. Um, coming from Sweden, really, but. Um, it, yeah, they, they've been widely available here. They're making their way into more shops and stuff as well. You see maybe some supermarkets, but fantastic bars. Anyway, uh, Bear Bells is the sister company of this. It's done by Vitamin Well here in the UK. And uh, there is a new bar coming from them very soon. Uh, I can't tell you what it is. I can't tell you specifically when, but uh, it'll be this month. And it's a uh, very, very appetizing sounding, uh, probably very safe flavor. I haven't tried it, um, but I'm sure it'll be something of a win. So we'll have that one in by the end of the month. That's something to look forward to there, but still not goes flying for now. Um, okay, drinks done. I'll go to bars because this is this is usually where I would start, but um, I did need the energy drink because I'm so down on sleep. It's not even funny. Mm. <laughs> That's the thing, really. I haven't actually had a chance to miss the gym that much because I've been so maxed out with doing this, and I'm trying to spare the team as much as possible. But to be fair, they've all been absolute heroes doing this, and obviously observing the the sort of safety things and stuff here as well, trying to keep healthy themselves. I mean, you know, we, we all need to look after each other through this. And I, I'm no slave driver. I mean, I'll always do something myself if I can, but there's no way I could have done everything we've achieved over the last two weeks myself. So I, I mean, eternally grateful for them. Fantastic. So yeah, all heroes and I owe them um, big breakfast and stuff after this. I mean, we have got out of body power. That's the other thing. So not out of it. We are still doing it. But body power was obviously pulled quite quickly. Uh, there was in when's that? about a month's time, we should be doing body power. So there was loads of stuff to look forward to there. We're all geared up. We had hotels, we had everything sort of set. In fact, this, this old backdrop was from when we did body power the first time around. So I probably need to do a reprint. But yeah, I didn't actually say why I'm in front of this. Well, Body power, just to say, it has been moved at the moment, postponed, still this year, and um, weirdly, it's been put over Halloween. So it's October 30th to November 1st, I think, um, again at the NEC in Birmingham. Whether or not it goes ahead, I don't know. We, we don't know when this lockdown is going to get lifted. We don't know when big events like that are going to be allowed again. We don't know when people are going to be comfortable going to things like that. It's, it's just, uh, you know, the politicians are getting boring saying this, but it's too early to say. We all want answers. No one has them. Uh, I don't know 
about Body Power at this point. They're certainly planning on it going ahead. The NEC, um, uh, they have a load of other events planned around that time. But as many of you may know, the NEC, just like the Excel in London, is now a hospital. It's a Nightingale hospital. So they're going to have to pull all that apart and clean it up and stuff. I mean, it's not going to be a nice environment, I think, for some people walking around thinking what's happened there. Um, but they, they're going to have to take that all, you know, even when everything goes back to normal, and they, yeah, they, they're going to have to take the call to, to put that apart and then put the events back in. I don't know. No one knows how quickly this is going, worldwide, how quickly everything's going to return to normal. No one has any answers. Anyway, Body Power is currently uh, October 30th to November 1st. Uh, we are going to be there. If it gets postponed again, they might just say, right, Body Power 2020 isn't happening, move it to 2021. I've not heard this. It's all supposed to be going ahead, but I wouldn't be too surprised. But like that. Anyway, Body Power would have been there. That would have been a big, crazy, hectic time for us. That's obviously gone, but it's more than maybe up for it online. The reason I'm in front of this um, slightly uh, tired looking banner, uh, <laughs> not only does it match me, but it is because my usual spot is in the shop. It's over there. I'm not going to move the camera and show you because it, basically it's hideous. It's a car crash. The uh, With the shop closing for two weeks, uh, we've not really been worrying about replenishing the shelves. And we share stock between the online store and the um, the actual physical store. So as things have been selling through and they've been going out fast, we're, we're desperately trying to keep things in stock. Uh, we've just been taking things off the shelves. So at the moment, it looks like the worst kind of panic buying you've ever seen. I mean, like kind of like Tesco's was at the first few days after, uh, you know, when people were moving towards the lockdown and the panic buying hit with the, you know, empty pasta shelves, empty tins. I mean, it's still not great, but it's looking like that, but with pre-workouts scattered everywhere. It's just awful. So I could have spent a couple of hours putting it back together for the purpose of doing the video, but um, it didn't seem worth it when it, it's, it's so hard just to get around to doing the video anyway. So I thought instead I'd just talk at you. But um, yeah, easy. we have this up in the shop, so it's easy enough to just move the counter and do that. Um, so sorry, it's, it's not quite as exciting and engaging as normal, but it really does look absolutely terrible. We've even moved where the, the, the central island we have with bars on there to the side to allow space for more deliveries and boxes going out and everything. So that's, that's why I'm in front of this. So next week, I say next week, I'm going to try and keep doing these now. Back into it. Um, uh, I might be back over there. Well, I probably won't be back over. I might work out something slightly sexier. But yeah, anyway, here for now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Back to the bar. We've got the white chocolate marshmallow. Da -da 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 -da. White chocolate marshmallow. How oh, long have I been wittering now? Way too long. Come on. White chocolate toasted marshmallow. Even better. Uh, from Battle Snacks. Um, so this is the first new bar we've had from uh, Kevin and Sean over at Battle Snacks. Um, AKA um, Icon Nutrition or what they used to be called, Battle Oats, yeah, sorry. So um, yeah, big favorites of ours, uh, homegrown kind of, you know, UK bars made here in the UK as well. Uh, always a bit different because you get two chunks per pack. I'll show you these ones. These ones are more different than ever because not only, I mean, they've had the um, they've had the candy cane with the crunchy candy style pieces. They had the caramel pretzel that's been fantastically popular uh, with the pretzel chunks all over it. Uh, they've had, they've got red velvet, they've got birthday cake, they, loads of cool things. With this one, of course, we've got mad toppings again and we've got soft fluffy marshmallows. So yeah, they're not gonna lie to you as the name implies. It's got toasted, well, it says toasted marshmallows. They're not that toasted, to be honest, but it has actual marshmallows. So they've, they've gone the full mad way of doing it. They were not going to tell you it was a marshmallow bar without actually having marshmallows. So they're there, there are lots of them. They're reasonably stuck in place as well, which is actually quite impressive. Um, and then you'll see there's chocolate crunchies through there. So chocolatey biscuit, uh, biscuity crunchies. They always mix up the texture with these as well. As I say, you get two bites of packs. There's another one in there. It's about 220 calories, I think. Two to eight, yes, for both of the bites. You can share it, you can have both yourself, you can do portion control, you have one before a workout, one afterwards. However you want to do it, it's always been a pretty cool feature of these. Um, so I'll just bite, I'm gonna go for the really marshmallowy bit. Mm -hmm. mm. So personally, I love marshmallows. I know not everyone does. They're obviously not vegetarian, but then again, these bars aren't vegetarian anyway. Same as most of the grenade, bear bells, etc. How about that? Mmm. So you can see the crunchies, really creamy, um, milky bar style white chocolate coating. The fluffy marshmallows, including uh, EM white and pink, so very pick and mixy. And it's a, it is a caramel inside. You see that the um, fondanty layer, but it's obviously uh, it's clear and white. I'm not actually sure how they've done that. It's not dissimilar to the cream, the creme they have in their limited edition candy cane bar. Um, but yeah, very sweet, very very soft, kind of like buttercreamy. 
Mm. <laughs> I've missed doing these. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a triumph basically. Yeah, it's the like the Limon del Sol we've got here. It's the bar we need right now. I think it's colourful. It's eye catching. It's fun. Um, okay, this time of year, sun's coming out. We're we're moving towards summer really quite fast. Are you going to be toasting marshmallows? Probably not, probably not, but it's, it's very novel. I don't know any other bar that's um, certainly we have in the mix that has done this. Um, and it, yeah, it, it is sweet. You could probably think of this bar as a white chocolate cookies and cream bar. That's that's the, the main takeaway. That's 85% of it. Then the fluffy marshmallows, because they're so soft inside, as most of the Battle Bites are, the marshmallows complement it perfectly. And it does come across one big marshmallow complete with cookie crunchies and then that creamy white chocolate um, sort of finish on it. it. It's really, it's really quite wonderful. So. It has done incredibly well for the guys, I know that. Um, we were about a day late launching it. We should have had it on Tuesday. I think it wasn't until the Wednesday we got it up. Um, but it has been very well received all, um, already. Uh, and it's available in our Battle Snacks um, Bite Me bundle along with all the other fantastic flavors. Uh, Frosted Carrot Cake is still in. Um, so I think that's a limited edition one as well. We might not have that for the whole year, and then well, maybe they relaunch. And uh, we've got the last of the candy cane ones, but loads of fantastic flavors there. Red velvet's always really popular. Birthday cake's really popular. The classic chocolate caramel. Um, they're all in there, and this is a lovely, worthy addition to the range as well. I'm so glad it's come out as well as it has, and it's so nice that they're still launching stuff because we have like historically done incredibly well with battles, uh, battle bites, and had a lot of fun with the guys. Kev's a lovely dude, and. Um, they just haven't, yeah, they haven't had so many launches of late and it's felt that they've lost a little bit of momentum. They have had some big uh, stockists pop up. So they're actually in some of the supermarkets, I think in Sainsbury's now and stuff. So it's it's not like they've not been really busy behind the scenes. They are doing very well. But yeah, we love new stuff here, as you know. And they've given us a, a hell of an eye-catching one at a difficult time to show you guys. So that's fantastic. I hope you love them. Do try them. And um, yeah, then there you, there you go. It's it's one of the most fun launches we've we've had for the last few months to do. So so pleased they've come out really well. Um, we're going to stick with bars this time. We're going to jump over from um, dairy style ones. So gee, they're not even vegetarian, but we're from sort of normal protein bars over to the plant based. Uh, we've got a third flavour, not quite as eye catching. A third flavour from Misfits Nutrition, formerly Misfits. It's now, it's now Misfits, so it's more all encompassing. Um, but yeah, it just tastes damn good. So we had chocolate caramel, we had chocolate orange. Um, these have done, uh, new, I could have guessed it, they've done really, really quite well actually. We've got them here. So we've got the uh, orange, so that's Jaffa Styley. And we've got the chocolate caramel, so that's the, the classic one, obviously the best seller, at least thus far. Um, <coughs> so yeah, very, very cute range, the purple one there. So they've gone with slightly more beigey on the hazelnut. So it's a Nutella style bar. Uh, so sort of Rocher style. In terms of flavor, it's a very natural hazelnut. So it's not, I mean, Nutella is so much sugar. That's that's what really drives this one home. So the hazelnut flavor takes probably a back seat to the actual crunch of the hazelnut sort of things in there. So it's more of a texture hit from this one, but it's just a lovely, uh, well-balanced one. It's got a slightly um, milkier chocolate taste to it. Like the Jaffa one, for example, has got quite a dark chocolate on it. And it's still, and this is the real game changer for the, the plant-based bars. They're only just moving into this now. It's a triple layer one with a caramel layer, the crunchy protein center, the chocolate coating. So going towards that sort of grenade bear bells battle bite style thing. Um, and it works phenomenally well. So quite cute little bars, 15 grams of protein, less than a gram of sugar. Ah, wonderfully knobbly. You know, I'm a big fan of novels here. It's really fun. I'm actually looking out of the road uh, as I'm doing this video. Usually I'm kind of focusing that way. And I think people trying to do their cardio in the middle of a town time to do their, their exercise. I've seen a girl go about six times around on a bicycle, obviously just lapping the block. So, I mean, there's obviously a lot of dispute about what counts as exercise and things, but I can, yeah, people just doing the same thing over and over again rather than going on longer rides. It's, it's crazy. I'm going dizzy watching her go around. Anyway, yeah, very knobbly. Mm. Oh. Really, really soft. It's more of a cakey style experience because the vegan thing, I guess there's not quite so much holding it together like with the dairy ones you do get a certain degree of chewiness you don't get that with vegan they tend to crumble in this case it works really well and as you see there's a sort of low sugar caramel going on mm, mm, mm. it's crunchy it's rich it's decadent it comes across quite sophisticated i know it's vegan but that's because i'm looking for it many probably wouldn't 
Um, and yeah, it just, it, it pulls apart like that. It's quite brittle. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Biscuity, nutty, chocolatey, rich. It's, it's, yeah, it's particularly truffly. These are just amazingly nice bars. Yes, you may not know Misfits. Mm. And they, they've come at this from a slightly different angle. In fact, I think they hit supermarkets before they sort of hit independence. And when they were Misfits with two S's, they were very, very female focused and they went into sort of gyms and yoga studios. It, it was that sort of thing. It's reworking it and it's hitting more of this. I think you'll find them in Pure Gym vending machines, actually. I think they nailed that contract. Obviously, Pure Gym closed right now. Uh, but yeah, they, they have done very, very well. There's nothing else out there on the market like it at the moment. Gluten free, dairy free, and the rest. Even the even even the packaging is ethical. Even the packaging is like vegan and stuff. So, lots of cool stuff with it. Um, Tara is one of the co-owners there. She hooked us up with these in the first place. So, I, I don't know whether they've got any more bars coming now. That's that's trio there. We've got a mixed bundle on site. The unmistakable um, Misfits bundle, I think, is on there. But if you're looking for a slightly new experience from a plant-based bar, uh, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, no one's not liked these. Only fantastic reviews so far. Good amount of protein, good low sugar, 100% natural. Yeah, fantastic bars. Hazelnut is in the mix now. And um, yeah, check it out. We've actually been adding a few samples to orders. If your order looks particularly vegan, we, we've taken the assumption you are into that stuff. Uh, we've been adding them. But yeah, they're a real win. Um, while we're on the subject of Misfits, then we'll jump over. I did mention greens. Um, we've actually got uh, slightly more of their range. And they do some health and wellness bits. These have been totally revamped. They do do vegan proteins. Can't say that I'm a fan. Um, but these things have actually worked. They're a fantastically good price. It's 20 quid across everything they do on these. So they've got lovely, um, cute little packs. They're actually pills in here. But they've, they've gone with um, bags of them, kind of like the My Muscle mugs we do, rather than um, like plastic jars. Uh, so, yeah, I, I quite like that. It does look super cute. They're all color themed. Yes, there's a nice pink one. There you go. You get the idea. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to lean on these too heavily. You know, it's not really our thing. But they just put a, a um, fun and friendly and very approachable um, front on uh, kind of usual health and wellness things you might pick up across certainly the supplement industry or indeed you know you're holding about when you're buying these sort of things. So we have got greens. Um, so this is uh, Super Greens Blend, Vegan Defense, etc. The cool thing is it's flavored. So it's apple and kiwi flavor. Uh, and it actually tastes to me like Ribena. So um, I, yeah, I'm a big, big fan. It's, uh, if the flavor, if the, the flavor w were not good, I wouldn't make a fuss. Um, but it is actually surprisingly good. In fact, Millie tried this one. We always do the team sampling, as you know. Millie tried this one. I think it's the only green uh, drink she's actually finished. It's the only one she said you wouldn't spit out. So that's a little bit of a win. She's less forgiving than I am when it comes to this stuff. But it's quite a simple formula inside. Eight fruits and vegetables, vitamin D, no added sugar, nothing artificial, obviously vegan. Um, broccoli, spinach, kale, beetroot, kiwi, spirulina. So it, it just gets in your you know cruciferous bits and pieces, your micros. Uh, but if it's something you're whether you're thinking about now because the sort of virus is about or you're just after greens powder in general, um, you could do far worse than this one. There's no scoop, I'll say, that's a bit weird. It's a, like, a heaped tablespoon is how you measure it out, but it, it's kind of, um, sort of to taste with this one, but it's not like you can overdo it on the greens. So you can mix it up uh, yourself. It, a lot of people will be using this in um, smoothies and other stuff as well. So it's, um, yeah, it's very cool and it's 20 pounds a bag. Um, and that's that's about it. But yeah, I did want to mention it because if you're thinking about greens or you've tried them in the past and they've been horrible tasting, uh, the Misfits ones are, are surprisingly good. Uh, they've got Sweet Dreams things. So that's like a sleep aidy sort of one. I think, has that got ZMA in? Is it? No, it's, it's, it's all natural stuff. So it's all, um, what have we got? Cherry, cam uh, chamomile, lemon balm. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's very, very, very mild. I have to say, I haven't tried that. Millie was going to try the sleep aid. Um, but the digestive one, I will give a go when I get around to it. And then, yeah, they've got a vitamin botanical and adaptogen blend. Um, so is that uh, the stuff for uptake, <clears throat> milk thistle, things like that. Uh, yeah, it's just it, happy insides. It, it's sort of what they're pitching for. So they're all on there. It's um, yeah, usually 30 servings, 20 pounds, 30 servings. Pretty good price on it too. We're obviously more about their, their bars and snacks. Um, but yeah, they, they do have that stuff in. And obviously right now, it's actually been quite popular in the mix. Um, okay. Final one then, I'm going to mention some fun stuff. Mm. Uh, maybe just to help with the 
general mood of things at the moment. Um, we've bought some more American candy bits in. We've got a few uh, cool American imported bits coming. We've got Colonel Seasons finally restocking in about 10 days time. So sorry for the, the wait there. Incredibly popular popcorn seasonings, but these things are useful on, on kind of anything, you know, any of your kind of um, uh, meal prepping and stuff as well. They're invaluable. So uh, yeah, really surprisingly, I'll grab one here to show you. Really surprisingly popular for us, um, but we finally got all the flavors coming back. So it's these cute little guys. Uh, we've got all of those coming back. Um, in about two weeks time, 10 days, two weeks time. Um, but it's been a long time. I've actually released some Pop-Tarts. I saw pretzels, I saw Pop-Tarts, couldn't resist. I love pretzels. Uh, so there's chocolate and there's cinnamon sugar uh, flavor in these Pop-Tart things. They come in packs of two. Um, so you can buy one at a time or you can buy a box that's got six packs of two in it. Can't see too much there. Should I open, should I open these? Should I actually see what I'm working with? These are very cool. Everyone knows Pop-Tarts, toaster pastries. Long-standing favorite from Kellogg's. So it just looks like that. So it's got a chocolatey drizzle on it. It's got chocolate on the inside, as you can kind of see inside it there. There we go. Come on, focus. There, it's gorgeous. But it's got that same, um, yeah, sweet pastry uh, coating the outside. Smells amazing when you do it. You're gonna burn your tongue when you eat it, but it's so worth it. Always is with Pop-Tarts. Uh, and the cinnamon sugar one, um, it's like a, yeah, like a, um, a snickerdoodly. I've totally tied myself up with a stupid microphone. How did I even manage that? Uh, sorry, back. Um, yeah, so a couple of flavors of those in there. I thought, because we were doing the toasted marshmallow thing, having the um, sort of pretzel uh, Pop-Tarts come in as well about the same time, it's quite good fun. Um, they're in there, people have been um, enjoying those. I've got some um, flavor sachet things. Uh, obviously we do lots of syrups and we do lots of like, you know, Jordan's flavorings for, for coffees or whatever you, you want to mix it into. Um, but um, in terms of uh, stuff for water bottles, we've always had quite a lot of luck with um, like sachets, we've got Jolly Ranch, we've got Hawaiian Punch, we've got Starburst, that's actually the candy. So in here, you see them on site, they're basically flavoring powders. So you could put it into yogurt if you really wanted, but these are more like fruit juicy type drinks. So if you wanna to go to the gym and you don't wanna BCAA, you don't wanna add the aminos in, uh, these are great, you can put them in your shaker or a water bottle, have them out and about. The, yeah, there's no, there's no big health benefit to them, but they are sugar free, essentially calorie free, and they taste great. Um, so yeah, you get a bunch of sachets in each one. I think they're either six or eight, it depends on the brand, but as obviously Jolly Rancher sweets, Starburst sweets, and Hawaiian Punch. Now this is a, a sort of Ribena spin-off you get more in the States. Um, and there's a whole range of different flavors you can get there to mix up a kind of sugar-free, um, uh, just a soft drink from those. But yeah, they're, they're cute, they're good fun, they're a pretty good price. Um, also, I haven't got any on me, uh, but we got Jello back in, so the sugar-free pudding mix. Uh, Jello things we got. Um, everything from cheesecake and pistachio through to butterscotch and white chocolate. Uh, always very popular, always great calorie friendly sort of things. Uh, they are in the mix now as well. I've got quite a lot of those, so and they have been hugely popular. Grab them while we have them. There's, there's always big gaps between when we can get these. Um, what else is coming up? Yeah, I mentioned greens, I might as well mention. We also do the machine greens, the MTS ones. The difference between this and the um, Misfits one I mentioned. Uh, this actually, it, it's a more complete blend, to be honest. There's a lot more going on in here. as alkalizing blend, etc. But it also has uh, vitamins in this one too. And there's some choline milk thistle. So it sort of combines, it combines their um, good night, happy morning thing uh, with the immuno boosting one. So it's a bit more expensive product. And I have to say, I prefer the taste of the Misfits one. The MTS one, more comprehensive with vitamin F and the rest is apple cinnamon flavor. It doesn't taste hugely of cinnamon to me. I've added cinnamon to it, which is a sort of super foody thing in its own right. I love cinnamon, um, but apple is certainly in there. It's not unpleasant, but I, yeah, I do prefer the taste of the apple kiwi Misfits one, just saying. Um, and on greens, actually Ghost is on the cusp of launching their greens, Ghost Greens whole bunch of different flavors. I think they're launching in the US on the 22nd. I think I just saw Dan post about that. Uh, so I, God knows when it's gonna to come to the EU. Um, in terms of this whole coronavirus um, horror show, uh, you're going to have some problems <sighs> from a supplement perspective, um, and indeed in terms of many imports, because basically what's happened is, uh, as the commercial flights have been stopped, so British Airways have grounded the flights, EasyJet's grounded flights, many airlines have grounded, basically flying nothing but emergency flights or nothing at all. The capacity to carry cargo has been slashed across the world. And this is even forgetting the delays going through borders as the fewer staff checking and, and they're being more pedantic about how they're checking and all the rest of it. So they're, they're just, there are fewer planes in the air to carry 
cargo. And when you book a, um, a pallet, for example, to come over from the States, uh, you would usually, if it's a known shipper is what they call it, with the, tra um, the um, TSA over in the States, uh, you can get your cargo. Let's say if I was bringing over more sour strips, which I've been doing a bunch recently, so this is the Max Tuning Candy, uh, you build a pallet of it, have many thousand bags, and that would get booked onto, let's say, a British Airways plane that's carrying passengers. But because it's, it's safe, it's a known thing, they will put the cargo in the hold. So when a plane flies, it isn't just carrying your luggage, it's carrying loads of other stuff. They fill it the hold as much as well. And because there are loads of fl uh, planes flying, particularly from, let's say, New York to London, it's very easy to get your pallet put on there with very little notice, and you get it because it, there's a there's a lot of um, there's a lot of space to get your cargo on there. They actually um, capitalism drives prices down on doing this. You actually get a good price to move your stuff over. Right now, because the planes aren't in the air, they're having to do charter flights, which means they have to actually book cargo planes, which go less often, and um, there are fewer of them. They have to book cargo planes to carry all the stuff over. So the price has gone up. Ridiculously, apparently with the with the freight forwarders, they're at about 20% capacity worldwide because of the the, um, the hit to consumer flights, which is shocking. Obviously, the price has gone up massively on the back of it. A lot of freight forwarders going out of business and struggling and the rest. Anyway, because of that, um, companies that do a lot more importing, so the destroyer, distri there's that girl again, distributors and importers, um, they are, when they were trying to bring over certain products, they would do it by air and they do it with those flights. Uh, they're now having to do it by sea, which takes three times the, the length of time. Currently, the price hasn't gone up too much aside from the shocking exchange rate, um, but it has to go by sea, which takes far, far longer, which means it's going to be a while before certain things can get stocked up. Other companies might just not bring anything in at all until the flights are moving again, and then they'll get back to it. They, do, you know, they won't be able to, to move enough to fill a container to do it over sea. So yeah, it's a, it's a big, big headache, and um, we will try and manage it as best we can. Uh, I mean, one or two things might end up sneaking up in price just because it, the, there's such a steep increase in some of the products. Like the PES products, for example, some of their proteins, we have to look at some of the price of those. Nuts and Moors actually had a significant price rise. Um, but we're going to swallow that for now, maybe just remove some of the bulk discounts. But I mean, we're, we're going to try and absorb as much of this as possible and things will eventually level out again. But yeah, that's that's a sort of unseen um, hit uh, on the back of the, the sort of virus and the, the knock of the economies around the world. So yeah, bleh, um, lots of consequences. Um, anyway, why was I whinging about that? Um, I don't know. I've completely forgotten. Uh, we're we're going to try and keep stuff in stock as much as possible, basically. But I'll probably try and focus on um, domestic products and European products as much as possible because they have been less hit by bringing stuff over. Obviously, as a company that does a lot of American stuff, it makes it a bit difficult. <coughs> um, I think Ghost is why I led into that. Ghost with the greens coming. Basically, they fly a lot of their stuff over and they're going to have a little bit of trouble doing that for the time being. So I, yeah, I need to catch up with them. Obviously, they're in big lockdown there. Chicago was hit pretty hard. It doesn't make the news, but they, they have seen lockdowns there as well. Um, and um, uh, yeah, they have a whole bunch of new stuff. I think they just launched Burn Black. That hit the UK site and sold out in minutes. I really wanted to get some. They couldn't spare it. And yeah, obviously they couldn't because even the consumer site alone took it all like that. Uh, but we've got most of the other ghost skews in as well. It's just I'm looking forward to Game Man. I'm looking forward to Greens in particular. And um, yeah, they'll, they'll be in at some point. Uh, we will see. So what else have we got coming up new? Okay, energy drink wise, as I said, they're doing really well in terms of other American bits. We have, I think, I think, got the two new flavors of Monster Ultra from the States. Um, I've forgotten the name. I think one of them's Rose. I, I've, I can see the cans and my, my mind's gone blank. But the two new Ultras we don't have here. Uh, we should have some of that maybe even middle of next week. It might even be a few days on that one, just after Easter. So get ready for that. We won't be able to get that much of it in. I'm sure it'll sell out, so I'll probably limit it to half a tray or a tray or something. Um, but uh, that is coming. Uh, there's obviously the new Bear Bells bar I've mentioned. So that's coming by the end of the month. We have got... Um, <clears throat> there's potentially a very exciting bar. It's the bar I did, I, I teased this, but it's from Mars. Uh, they've got another bar, two bars, in fact, uh, that might be coming this month as well. It's potentially been postponed. I've, I've heard some rumors it's been pushed back to September, but if these bars come out, they will be um, incredibly popular, and I've heard they're particularly good as well. So hopefully those will show up. Um, what else are we doing? We have got... Uh, there's more jams coming. Um, it's a nice summary one, but you know the uh, Skinny Food Co. jams? I had one I had one to wave at you. Yeah, you know this one. 
the Not Guilty Jams, you know, these well have been incredibly popular for us and to be fair, they're actually amazing. Um, they're not like zero calorie like uh, some of the, the syrups they do are, uh, but they are um, no sugar and I think it's only like 100 calories for an entire jar and stuff and it just tastes amazing, real fruit in there and stuff. So good authentic stuff is it's probably my pick of the whole Skinny Food Co range. Um, there are two new flavors. So we have to see when we get those. I think there's marmalade and I think there's black cherry. They'll be coming... Uh, we have got, ooh, what else? Um, Swalsom, uh, we did get a restock last week. Sadly, only three or four flavors and not the Easter ones. Easter now uh, is Sunday, so happy Easter for Sunday, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we're not gonna see any more of the Easter ones, I don't think, although uh, Maddie did just put some off on site. I bet when I actually stop recording this and check the thing, she'll have sold out already. But if you got some, great. It was a fantastic Easter range. Sadly, Maddie's maxed out over there. It is just her. She, she had to sort of put on hold staffing up and she just got a brand new unit and suddenly couldn't open it because of this. There's that girl again. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, she, she just can't keep up with the demand really. So we're gonna try and get in what we can, but it's, it's just, it's not ideal and the coronavirus situation hasn't helped with things at all uh, on that front. Uh, on my muscle mug, another handmade sort of thing that we do here, they have been incredibly popular through this. Their popularity is spiked. I'm not too sure why. Maybe people are home and looking for more guilt-free treats and the muscle mugs put a smile on their faces. I don't know, but yeah, the popularity is just rocketed up, not just for us, but for M herself. And we have four new flavors, three new flavors. There's, there's a whole bunch. We, we sampled them before this whole the whole Corona thing kicked in. And um, they're fantastic. We've got vegan ones. We've got um, regular dairy ones as well. Lots of fun. Lots of uh, some marshmallows involved in a couple of them, in one of them. Um, so that'd be cool. Two, uh, we have got... Uh, before too long, there'll be the new um, Chocolate Crisp Outright Bar. That should still be coming, despite the increase in air freight um, costs. We have got... Oh, nah, I don't know. I think that's probably about it. Um, <laughs> we, we are looking for as many new things as possible. A few things will be postponed because of this whole situation. But uh, from what we've seen, people are, are very keen to cheer themselves up. People are very keen to cling on to what normal uh, normality, normalcy and stuff they can get. So I think launches are actually going to go peculiarly well right now. So I, if I were a brand and I were actually launching stuff, I, I would go for it. I think it's a nice time to do it. And people do need perking up that little bit. So yeah, that's that's what we try and do here. I probably succeeded in boring you more than anything else uh, with this one, but it's just, yeah, it, it had been a while and there've been notices on site and obviously orders been going at the door and I've spoken to a bunch of you online on Instagram, Millie has too. Um, so you know we are still going, but I just wanted to put my face in front of this one, haggard and whatever pale as it may be, uh, just to say we are still we are still here and doing this. And there's some really cool feature launches, particularly the um, the battle snacks here and the the Noco Limon uh, that I did want to introduce you guys to. So rest is up on site. I've just updated the blog last night. That's doing there. Um, that's. Um, yeah, that had been behind as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, we are still here. We are still going strong. We're still fighting the good fight. And I do hope all of you watching this are managing to stay safe, well, and indeed sane uh, through this bizarre and quite unpleasant period. But I mean, we, we, we stick with doing this, this stay home thing, doing what we're supposed to do. Hopefully we'll indeed save lives and the quicker we can all get back to something that passes for normal. And hopefully before the nice weather disappears. I, I think it would just be cruel irony if in three weeks time, start of May or something, they said, right, okay, you can start to go outside again, you can do this, that and the other, and then suddenly we are looking at the wettest summer on record. That would be typical. <laughs> um, the UK would uh, love to do that mother nature here in Britain. Um, but yeah, hopefully we still get something of a summer up ahead, despite all the events that have been put off and postponed. But there's so much cool stuff going on online in terms of, yeah, like house party type stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, the online personal training, the amount of live sessions I'm seeing there is is like bewildering. Um, there is probably a lot of people, I mean, my friend, for example, is a guitar teacher and he's actually a guitar teacher in a school. Obviously all schools co closed. He was sort of panicking, like, what am I gonna do? Fortunately, a lot of the parents said, oh, well, I've now got my kids at home. Can we book sessions with you over FaceTime or over uh, Zoom or whatever it is, uh, like through all this? So he said, oh, great, okay. All the people he thought he'd lost suddenly came back to him. But on top of that, he's been inundated with requests 
can you teach me ukulele? Can you teach me this? Can you teach me that? Loads of other people who are now seeing this period when you're not at work or, yeah, indeed, when, when you're, you know, your kids have a bit more time, you're trying to keep them occupied uh, to learn instruments. So there are, again, there are, positivity, there are positive things to come out of this. You can do more creative stuff. For my part, um, I'm a drummer. I mean, I, I do play a few instruments, actually, but I, I really wanted to get my, back into my drumming. I've been getting quite rusty and haven't been in bands for a couple of years. And... Um, I actually haven't hit the drum, I haven't hit a drum once in the last two or three weeks. But it's because of how flat out we've been with doing this. Which again, good thing, good thing. I'd rather be busy than not. I would go pretty crazy stuck at home, especially I couldn't do this, this pick and mix thing. It's such a big part of my life. But um, yeah, it, it's, I, I, I haven't had the chance. But it did occur to me instantly, yes, I've got time to do this. So I've seen a lot of garden projects. I've seen people building uh, squat racks and stuff. It, it, I mean, it's really cool. I mean, there, there are always positives to take out this whole situation. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, yes, death. There's a lot of people very, very anxious and afraid about this, worried about their business off. So, I mean, it, it is terrible. There's no way to put a, an overarching positive spin on this, but it, it's amazing how adaptable human beings find themselves and, and how, um, you know, creative you can be and, and how much you can kind of, um, you know, socialize and, and, and kind of help each other through this. I mean, there's, there's so many great stories. And I, I'm sure years to come when this is kind of in the rear view mirror, they're going to be you know, wonderful documentaries and things like that, like looking at what happened through all this and obviously clapping for the NHS and the rest. So yeah, okay, if you are an NHS worker, thank you so much for your work. Um, so it, yeah, it, it's, it's all good. I mean, what we have said on that is we'll always try and add some stuff if, if we, we see these going to hospitals and, and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's fantastic, really. Anyway, I'm glad to be here. And um, yeah, I am um, pleased I've actually managed to do one of these videos for you. So I'll keep them coming. Uh, and um, yes, yeah, stay well out there and everything, folks. And hopefully we will get our lives back to normal uh, soon. But yeah, I'll hit you up with more snacks as soon as we have a good pile of them. But have a fantastic Easter and I will catch you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>